All right, uh, got to start with the obvious, which is 42 points is a not a record, but it's it's pretty darn close to a record for for Jalen. What was going for Jalen tonight? Why, why was that rolling so easy for him? Yeah, I thought he was offensively up. I mean, obviously phenomenal. Um, him and Mash in the second half were kind of in a rhythm there. Um, they were switching all ball screens. I thought other guys, because of their spacing, got him open. And he made some tough shots. Um, when he's going, he's great. And when he has the right matchup, he's great. The problem is sometimes when you get those bigger guys, not as good. But um, offensively, just dynamic. When him and Mash are clicking, we have a chance. But we just haven't had enough moments of that. Obviously, eight days ago, San Jose State, much needed win. You get it. He has a great night, 18 points, 13 rebounds. Monday night was what you're talking about. The, the matchup wasn't good, and, and the results showed it, not only for the team, but for Jalen specifically. And then you bounce back like this. How do you get a little more consistency when the matchup isn't right? That's the key that we're trying to figure out. I mean, it's it's we're, we're small. I watched that Colorado State game uh, last night, and those are big men out there, and, and, and We've got to, he's got to be better in those matchups, but it's just not great at times. Um, I tell him all the time, he's the, he's the problem and he's the solution. When he's good, we have, we're in every single game. When he's not, we struggle. So hopefully he can learn and continue to move and grow. You know, I, I say it all the time, he really is technically a sophomore. Yeah. Um, so he's still got a long way to go. And he hasn't been in this role a lot. No. Um, he's being thrusted into playing. He played 40, obviously, tonight. So he was terrific. All right. Uh, matchup wise, is that why Sebastian didn't get his start? That, just a matchup thing. Um, obviously, you have to be pleased with the way they responded to what is, as you know, a unique kind of uh, game plan, a game prep. They seem to respond. I thought they were terrific. Coach Chu did a great job with the scout. Our, our guys had them ready to go. First half, we guarded them really well. Um, second half, we got a little bit of, we were celebrating too early. We're not used to playing with a lead. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I thought we were ready to go. First half, we were terrific. To put 91 points, I believe Nevada was 75, if I'm not mistaken. Very, very hard to do. Um, but they were ready. And, and I think what we did was simulated their stuff very well in the three days of practice. As you said, we had to go small. I didn't think it was a good matchup for Sebastian. I thought it was a good matchup for Jay. Jay affected a lot of shots as well. Yeah. All right, you guys have a happier target tonight, I imagine, than, than on Monday night. Um, but then you got the week off, the weird kind of scheduling where you got a, a Northern New Mexico game. Haven't talked to you since that was announced. Is that just to kind of keep the rust from, from forming, I guess? Yeah, I mean, when you lose San Diego State, which is one of the most marquee tickets for our fan base, would have been a great crowd. It just is what it is. Um, we tried very, very hard. It's not a disrespect to Northern New Mexico. Uh, I haven't even watched them yet. I don't know. And it'll be a great opportunity for them. We tried very hard to get creative. Um, as I've said before, we're trying to rebuild the program, but we're trying to bring the fan base back. Yeah. Um, and But we wanted a game you know, for our guys. We didn't want to go another 10 days. So we will take Sunday, Monday off. We'll turn the page. We'll try to get better. We'll prepare for Northern New Mexico. We'll even sprinkle in some Wyoming stuff as well um, and just see if we can keep moving forward. Hey, look, first off, uh, this is a bounce back. You guys, you guys were beat up pretty good on Monday night. Yeah. Um, to bounce back like this, let's start with that. You just got a road win in conference play. How good does this feel right now? It feels really good. I mean, we, we, we try to go on a run on this month of February. So uh, this is a good win, good start off. We gotta, got some things we got to get better at, um, especially down the stretch. We can't allow them to uh, just trade baskets like that. So um, we just got to get a lot better and prepare for um, you know Wyoming and whoever we got coming this next February. So you just had a 20-point game and a road win in conference play. Mm -hmm. And I'm about to ask you about what Jalen House just did, which mm -hmm. is 42 points mm -hmm. on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, most points for a Lobo since 2013. Yep. Obviously, a, a bunch of those kind of lists. Mm -hmm. How... how how was it to watch, how was it to play tonight with a guy like Jalen House going off for 42? I mean, he can do that every night. I mean, he, he's a guy that can get in the lane, create for others, and create stuff for himself, as you've seen tonight. So if we can just keep him consistent, consistently on his attack and just like this, and you know, we're we going to be really well off. You know, we, 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 we got a lot of good pieces you know, on this guard front. He, he's amazing, man. He, he can score the ball, basketball, he can do it all. So. What do you guys got to do to build on this? I mean, obviously, 
Eight days ago, you guys have a, a feel-good win. You guys beat up on San Jose State. Mm -hmm. The bounce back against San Diego State, a much different team. I yep. get the matchups are totally different, but then they beat you up, and then you come back and beat somebody up. Like, how do you guys not have the ups and downs and sort of balance it? I mean, I think when you have, you know, people have good games, you know, we, we want to stay consistent, we stay even kill, not get too high, not get too low. You know, yeah, we, we got a good win, but, um, you know, we, we, we got bigger goals that we got to focus on. So as long as we got guys that are locked in and, you know I'm saying, focus on the right things, you know, not getting too high on good games because – we got another game coming up, so we got to just get right back to it, get right back to practice, and uh, just get refocused. Yeah. All right, man. Look, I'm going to start with the obvious. 42 points, most of Lobo scored since 2013, um, and you guys needed this, right, especially after Monday night. Yeah. How does it feel? The, what was working tonight, man? Everything. I mean, well, I mean the, the basket looked as big as the hula hoop tonight, so, I mean, I just felt good out there tonight, man. You needed this, too, after after yeah, Monday I night, didn't you? Yeah, three points, yeah. Uh, I was talking to myself, just like, you know, you, 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 you are good at basketball, so come out there, show what you could do, and just play your game. And I did that tonight. You only had 14 at halftime, but half court, inside the half court line, not quite a, a true <laughs> half court shot, but just inside the half court, you hit a buzzer beater. Um, you had that grin going, man. You had that smile going. Obviously, probably annoying a whole bunch of Air Force fans here, stuff like that, but that gets you going. Yeah. Did that carry over? Uh, I mean, I made that, you know it's my night if I'm making shots like that. So all I could do is just thank God, man. You guys obviously, eight days ago against San Jose State, huge win, you guys needed it, you had a great game. You guys come back a few days later at San Diego State, kind of lay an egg, obviously different matchups, I get that. But then you guys go from a high to a low to another high tonight. How do you guys get that consistency so you don't have another bounce back the other way? I mean, I just feel like it's, it's our defense. We just got to uh, lock in on defense because I think the offense will come. I, I think we're a pretty good offensive team. So once we start playing defense consistently, I think the, the wins will start piling. All right, uh, one other thing. Jamal had 20 points tonight, and, like, I don't know if anyone's even going to talk about it. They're going to talk about your 42. That's a good 20-point game he had too, though, right? No, like, you guys were all well. playing pretty good. Yeah. Um, how is it going to work out when you guys – are good that good offensively? Are you guys going to be able to beat teams just doing that, or you kind of mentioned uh, the defense? You like, got to play defense. I mean, basketball is a two-sided game. You can't just play offense and not play defense because that's how you lose games. So, uh, you know, we just got to try to play a complete game. And Mash was great tonight. You guys.